All right, so what we want to do, I'm going to show you how to create an email signature. And if you don't know what an email signature is, if I go to my email and I go to compose, um, this is an email signature. And, you know, it could be something that has a, a lot of detail. It can have picture. You just did a GIF uh, with motion. You could have that in there. Um, but it's basic information that lives on an email and it stays there, which makes it a little more professional. So like if you're typing an email to your teacher or to a potential employer or even to a buddy, um, you know, your, your signature or any information, uh, kind of lives there as like, uh, wouldn't say a placeholder, but, um, you know, it's kind of like a footer at the end of your at the end of your email. Uh, so it adds some style and, you know, kind of uh, sends some personality uh, to to your email. Um, so this is what you're going to create. <clears throat> we are going to start with Adobe Illustrator. I don't think I've had one. Um, we'll get it open here. And while it does that, we're going to go uh, in Illustrator or Photoshop. It's really up to you. Uh, you want to have document size be in pixels because it's on the web. Pixels is what we're using. 650 wide by 250 tall. 650 by 250. Hurry up and wait. So this will be a new file, so I'll just hit new. And we're going to change it from inches to pixels, and it's going to be 650 by 250. We'll keep it RGB because it's staying on the web, and we'll hit one artboard. We don't need four, and we'll hit create. Okay, so it's kind of a business card-esque. Uh, you know, we're just looking for personal inf information. We're going to end up exporting this file and getting it into a Google Doc. And then from Google Doc, we can place it into um, our email signature. So from here, this is all up to you. You can design it however you'd wish. You can have a photo of you um or not you could have like a little icon of something that you like or something that you're into um but basically what you're looking to do is you want your name you could say vintage high school student uh, you could say that you live in napa I would not necessarily put your um, physical address because most people don't need to know that information. And, you know, if you want uh, your social handles on there, you can. You don't have to. Um, you can have your phone number. You don't have to. Uh, but any other information, if you have a website, that you want to draw, uh, you know, send people to. This, this is like pertinent information you're sending people uh, to. So again, if you were to look at mine, let's go back to mine. Uh, let's see here. And you were to go to, you know, I've got my information here. I've got, you know, that I, trying to have them follow us on uh, the print shop handles. And my name, and then I'm an instructor, that it's in Napa. And again, these are set up as hyperlinks that people could go directly to my, uh, my, my pages and any other stuff. Um, so I'm Adobe Educator Level 1. I have my uh, certificate in Photoshop and Illustrator. So these are just things that are, you know, you want to highlight. As far as anything else, it could be full color. It could be uh, simplistic and simple, but you're trying to, you're trying to have some level of uh, 
professionalism, but also you want to try and give some personality. So, you know, what fonts do you like? What element design elements do you like? You know, you're creating all of this um, for your personality. After you're done designing it, let's go back to classwork. Um, <clears throat> So it says you're going to create a background of your choosing, make it unique to you. It could be as simple or as complex as you'd want. You can add a picture of yourself, of course. Um, I would suggest that, but you don't have to. You can add any other phone number, email, website, social media handles, again, but you don't have to. Uh, and then any other cert certificate, uh, certi certificates or accomplishments that you'd like to have. And then when you are done, make sure you save it to uh, the cloud so it doesn't lose forever. But then you're going to export it as a PNG file. So when you're done, export it as a PNG. And in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, import that into um, an email signature. And there you go.